Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to restrict login hours that can work on Windows XP, Vista, or 7. Something that you need to know is that when we create these login hours, it would only restrict the user to login only. So if they're already logged in, nothing will happen. Later on, I would put an other way to force log off, and then they'll be restricted, but they'll be on another video. So the first thing you need to do right now is go to start. On the search, type in CMT, right click on it, and run as administrator. Select yes. On Windows XP, just go to run, type in CMD, and you're up to the same place. Next, you would type in net user. And here's the list of users that are there. I'm going to use user for a simple example for this tutorial. So here it is. On this list on the bottom, you can see it says login hours allowed, it says all. So there's no restriction on this user at all. But we're going to set it up that way it will be restricted. So type in net user, the name of the user you're going to use, forward slash time colon. Now we're going to choose what dates it's going to be. I'm going to say from example of Monday to Friday, comma to let's say I'm going to choose from 8 a.m. so 8 a.m. to let's say at 10 tonight 10 tonight it will be changing the hours because it has to go by 24 hours so at 10 it will be at 22 that's from Monday to Friday and here's the list the user shows Monday is from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and also all the way through to Friday. You can change these policies a lots of different ways. Here's another example of how to do it. Net user, the name of your user, forward slash time colon. I'm going to choose from example from Monday to Wednesday. And I'm going to say at, let's say at 10 and to 10 tonight again and that's from Monday to Friday and if you want to add other days you put semicolon and choose other days if you wanted to so I'm going to say an example that Friday from Thursday and Friday it's going to be set at let's say at 8 a.m. to 12. Now I'm going to choose also, let's say, another day. So I'm going to choose on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going to choose from hours at 8 a.m. also to 8 tonight. 8 tonight will be, instead of being like how the 10 was, I was 22, this is going to be 20. And here it is. Now if we look at the list on the user, Sunday is going to be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday is going to be from 10 to 10, like how we have set this up up to Wednesday. Thursday is going to be from 8 to 12 p.m. Saturday is going to be 8 to 8. You can change these if you wanted to individual every single one. An example like this from Monday to be at 8 to, 20, 8 to 10 if you want to. And you can set up every single one. So I'm going to choose from Monday, it's at 8 to 10. I'm going to set up from Friday for it to be at, let's say, at 10 to 10 off. To 10 to be different it's all how you want to set up your login hours it's individuals you want to now the second thing that you need to do is once you created these login hours you need to know how to get rid of them so to do it it's real simple just type in net user the name of the user again forward slash time colon and then just type in all. 
Now we look again. The login hours are removed. And that's how you create the login hours. Thank you.